how's it going? I've been messing with some prepping some parts and fixing some odds and ends so I figured I'd show you what I've been up to. Over here I got some rocker studs that I had to fix the threads on. You can see right there. I just take a little bit off with this um, die that I got from Master Car for about two bucks. And I got some <coughs> girdle nuts that a few of them were tight on. Two of them real bad, the other one's not so bad. And I, I got this Westward Tap from Zorro for also about two bucks. And I just ran them down and I clamped them in my vise and ran them down and fixed them. So these are for a later project. I'm going to use these on the, the OG heads when I put them on the vet. But, you know, I was doing it and I was like, eh, why not? Let's get it done. Over here, I got some um, carburetor stuff. I'm going to, I dragged this out because so I'm going to make a, I think I'm going to make a short carburetor video. I'm going to try and do that later this week. I got some um, bolts that I've been drilling. I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm messing with the tumbler again. I think I might have figured something out and I may make another <laughs> valve spring part three video. We'll see. I, I got, I got, I got. Still got some details to work out. And let's see, I got a box of stuff I'm not going to show. And, oh, over here. Right behind this. I've been racing these exhaust valves. I got some 100 long exhaust valves well, and intakes, but I'm not doing any of the intakes. But I've been racing the edge. I think I might do a little more. And we'll see. Right here, I have been drilling some bolts. Now, I followed this method that I saw on YouTube, and you, you, you take like the, the you take this um, threaded rod like right here, chuck it up in your chuck, <laughs> and then you uh, put a nut on it, clamp it, you know, clamp it in the vise, and then you bolt the bolt the vise bolt the vise down. That's how you're supposed to get the center. I tried that, but I mean, I don't know if it's because my my cheap. Harbor Freight, you know, drill press is not so great, but it didn't work out so good for me that way. Over here, I got three that I've tried, or four that I've tried, but three with the, that method, and two were okay. You can see they're off-centered. A little more on the other side. And this one right here, top's not so bad, but the bottom, I actually went into the thread and I had to fix it with this needle file. So, eh, that, was, that wasn't great. But this one over here, I just I, I loosened it up and repositioned it and eyeballed it. And it came out better. Not perfect, but but, I, but good enough. I got one more I'm going to do here in a minute. We'll get to that. But I also want to point out, I used this um, these cobalt drill bits I got from MasterCard. I got another one over there. And these things work great. I mean, because that, 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 those bolts are, you can see right here, look at these spaghetti strings. That's great. I don't like get that kind of stuff with aluminum. But these bolts are ARP hardened, you know, stainless steel. So you got to be careful, I guess, with, you know, when you're doing with stainless. I mean, I don't have a ton of experience, but I've broken drill bits and taps and stainless stuff before. So, um, I got a cool idea next. So I'm going to run and get that and we'll set that up and I'll show you here in a second. And we're back. Now, I went ahead and set up what I think is going to be a cool shot. Well, I'm going to try and make it cool when I edit this video. You see, last year, last summer, I bought an action cam to use in the Red Corvette when I got it done. But, I never did because I bought Buck and then I ran into issues with Buck. So, this technically is kind of my first time using this camera. And it's got, you know, a high frame rate so you can do slow-mo. And I've gone ahead and I think I got set the right setting here. Let's see. Yep, 240. So, I think it would be kind of cool if I can get a shot of the long chip coming out. You know, we'll see. I went ahead and got the, the bolt in there, bits in there, of course. You know, everything's set up. I think we're good to go, so let's give this a shot. Well, I eyeballed it again, so we'll see if we're centered. <laughs> oh, and when I, I said these are hardened, these ARP bolts, I meant to say they're high strength. <laughs> so, anyways, let's give this a shot. See if I got it centered enough. I think we're, we're in business. It's, it's a little off. Yeah, it's good enough. Good enough. Well, 
Time to put this camera up and hit play, hit record on my action cam. <laughs> okay, so the shot wasn't as cool as I hoped. You can see when I zoom, the quality goes to shit. Being my first time using the action cam, I'm not used to it being such a wide shot. Nothing wrong with it. I just tried to use it for something that it's not good at. I mean, it was only a foot away and it looks like it's a mile. Oh well. There it is. The last one is done. I hope I get a good shot with the action cam. I mean, well, you guys will know if I if I edited it good or not. <laughs> I mean, I, I still haven't you know, looked at it, so you know, we'll see. But anyways, you can see right here, the drill bit is still cutting good, you know, fifth bolt, still making nice and long chips. So still good plenty sharp. Um it didn't quite go you know as good as I'd like to have. It's not quite centered, but it's it's good enough. I, I would say it's Maybe slightly better than these two, but not as good as that one. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's, well, that's down there. So, <laughs> anyways, eh, you be the judge. What do you guys think? I mean, oh, before I forget, these these bolts are nothing nothing critical. They're not 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 any you know low bearing gonna make me crash or nothing to worry about. So, you know, before you. Get in the comments and go, oh, you're going to kill yourself. <laughs> Just so you know, you'll, you'll see. <laughs> Anyways, I figure these bolts, even with a hole in them, because they're ARP high strength, are probably still as strong or maybe even a little stronger than your, your standard, you know, you know, hardware store stainless steel low grade. So, I mean... We'll see. I mean, they still feel plenty strong. But I'll show that some sometime later. I probably should have used those bolts for the photo that I drug this stuff out for. Which, you know, <laughs> this stuff is for um, an Instagram photo I was going to make. Well, we, it's for multiple projects. I didn't just buy it for Instagram. <laughs> that would be stupid. <laughs> I bought it for multiple projects. And this is just all the the new ARP stuff I have. I have more, but it's used. And I was going to like, oh, that'd be, that'd be kind of a cool photo. I mean, this right here, that's over a hundred dollars in just washers. I mean, that that that's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, I, th I think I'm gonna wrap this up. We, we've done enough damage for the day, so there it is. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep it real.